Wheat Jack, Rice Jack, and Good Hot Ralston present Space Patrol! High adventure in the wild, vast reaches of space. Missions of daring in the name of interplanetary justice. Travel into the future with Buzz Corey, Commander-in-Chief of the Space Patrol! In today's transcribed Space Patrol adventure, Buzz and Happy are locked in a laboratory on the planet Venus, where two villainous scientists have developed a new type of bacteria, which they're using to spread an epidemic. Suddenly, the voice of one of the scientists comes over a loudspeaker. We've taken enough of your meddling, Corey, and the people of Venus City are going to suffer for it. Watch what happens when I throw this switch. Commander, what's that? You started a gas compressor. I'm building up pressure in the germ well. In a few moments, they'll burn. Bacteria will be scattered all over the city. Well, listen to reason. Turn that off. Ah, uh, don't worry, Corey. The germs won't harm you. You'll be destroyed first by the explosion. We'll return in just a moment with today's exciting Space Patrol adventure, The Indestructible Germ. A cyclone? Uh Uh-uh. Just Danny Fields rushing out the door to the grocery. He's just heard there's a swell surprise inside of every new package of checks. Man, oh man, oh man. Uh Uh-oh, Danny's found the surprise. A magic space picture. Wowee. Wowee is right. With a magic space picture gang, you can have the time of your life. First, you stare at the mysterious picture. What is it? Who is it? It's hard to tell. But then, then you'll look up at the sky or at a wall and... Jumping Jupiter, I can see a flying saucer in the sky. Gosh, this picture really is magic. Magic and how? Why, with the magic space pictures, you can see all kinds of objects floating in space. Objects so big and clear, you'll think they're real. Flying saucer, rocket ship, planet Saturn, Buzz Corey, Cadet Happy. Those are just a few of the magic space pictures. Altogether, there are 24, all different. And you get one inside of every new package of checks. So, gang, start collecting the entire set of 24 magic space pictures today. Just look for the packages of rice checks and wheat checks with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the outside and the magic space picture on the inside. And now, today's Space Patrol adventure, The Indestructible Germ. On the planet Venus, several hundred miles from the capital city, is the community of Euphoria, known as the health capital of the solar system. Even in the 30th century, Euphoria is unique. For in these past three years, not one man, woman, or child has missed a single day of work or school because of illness. But about two weeks ago, an alarming thing happened. All over the city, people of all ages began complaining of weakness, disturbing headaches. Medical authorities are completely baffled. But although there have been no fatalities as yet, the situation is extremely serious. So serious that the city manager, Dr. Simon Kendall, has gone to Terra, seeking aid from the United Planets government. Now, at the request of the Secretary General, Commander Corey, Cadet Happy, and Dr. Kendall are flying to Euphoria to conduct an investigation. What's our estimated arrival time, Happy? Well, we should reach the Euphoria space locks at 1743 Universal Star Time, sir. Good. That'll bring us in about two hours ahead of the emergency medical corps. I do hope these Terra experts will be able to find out more than my own staff has. The emergency medical corps hasn't failed yet, Dr. Kendall. They've been up against some tough problems. Commander... Do you remember my telling the Secretary General that I regretted not coming to him sooner? Yes, Doctor. Well, it was a matter of pride. As city manager of Euphoria, I hated to ask for outside help, even in a crisis as serious as this. I was sure that our own medical authority could find the answer. Well, I'm sure they could if it were an ordinary problem. I'm afraid that we citizens of Euphoria have become like so many greenhouse plants. Our environment is so carefully controlled that our own bodies have lost some of their natural ability to fight off a new disease. Oh, but, Doctor, if this disease is something new, then anybody might catch it, whether they lived in euphoria or not. That's part of our job, Happy, to see that medical security regulations are enforced to prevent the sickness from spreading to other cities and to other planets. That's rather ironic, Commander, your last statement. How do you mean? Now, for about 25 years, euphoria has considered itself the only real, pure spot in the universe. We've been very smug about our superior health record. We've made our visitors go through a complete health examination before they entered our city. And now, we're the ones everyone is afraid of. 
We, the pure ones, are the source of contamination. I'm sure there's a logical explanation for this, Doctor, and we're going to find it. Yes, Garn, what is it? Well, I know you don't like to be interrupted when you're in the lab, but I thought this was important. Is it about euphoria? Yes. Uh, the city is quarantined. No one can enter or leave without an official's patrol permission. Oh, that's not so good. Not good? It means we won. We never dreamed our indestructible germs would be that effective. Yes, but what about our agents there? They'll have to stay in the city now. Yes, that's right. I never thought of that. If they have to stay there, they may come down with the sickness. Better if they do, then they won't attract attention. But if they get panicky and try to escape, they'll be caught and expose us. Uh, then hadn't we better shut down the lab and leave Venus City? No. Venus City will be the headquarters of the scientists trying to stop the epidemic at Euphoria. We'll stay here so we'll know every move they make. Well, we won't need this germ breeding apparatus anymore. Euphoria is completely contaminated. We have to get rid of it. You amaze me. We've spent two years perfecting this culture process. One year building it and another creating a new type of bacteria. And you want to destroy it. But we achieved our purpose. Dr. Kendall is ruined professionally. You know, if this disease ever gets a name, it'll probably be called Kendallitis. But we've got something big here, something important. What worked at Euphoria can work in other cities. You mean you want to infect other cities, too? Perhaps. Just think, Scarn. You and I both hate Dr. Kendall for getting us discharged from Terra University faculty. Yes, and we have the right to hate him. But we've done him more harm than he ever did us. So let's forget him. We can become rich and famous. How? We've produced an indestructible germ right here in our laboratory. Suppose we keep working and find a way of destroying this new type of bacteria. You mean develop a cure for the disease? Of course. Then we can start an epidemic all over the solar system. Before the smartest scientists can begin to make headway, we step in and offer a remedy. Yes. Then we'll be heroes. We'll be the scientists that saved the universe from uh, candlelighters. That's right, Scarn. Oh, wait a minute. Suppose somebody beats us to it, discovers a cure before we do. Oh, that's very unlikely. Well, frankly, I'm getting worried. Suppose there is an accident here in the lab. Suppose we get infected. Oh, we've taken every precaution. I know, but that automatic process is very complex. Something might go wrong when we're not here. The germs might escape. I've taken care of that. If there's any leakage in the apparatus, a warning bell will ring. If we're here, we can correct the trouble. But if we're not, the entire lab will be seared with fire. Not even these germs will survive that. Uh, I suppose you're right. But nothing's going to happen. Now, let's start working on a cure for our super vaccine. May I come in, Dr. Kendall? Of course, Cadet. Is the commander with you? Well, no, sir. I thought he was here picking up some of those uh, bacteria samples. Oh, they're in that case ready for him. I guess he'll be along pretty quick. So you finally isolated the bacteria, hmm? Yes, it seems to be a new variety. It has an amazing resistance to ordinary germ-killing chemicals. In fact, it almost seems to thrive on them. Wow. I've never seen a single type of bacteria that can endure such a wide range of adverse conditions. No wonder you can't stop the epidemic. And it's getting worse. Our industries are being forced to shut down for lack of workers. Well, what if it spreads to other cities, Doctor? I'm hoping that the scientists at Venus City will be able to find a way of destroying the bacteria without harming human beings. Well, they've done it with nearly all the other diseases. Yes, but over a period of centuries. We scientists have been boasting of the fact that we found permanent cures for all the serious diseases. Now we've got this new one. It's as though nature were telling us you're becoming a little too conceited, little men. Oh, there you are, Happy. Oh, I thought I'd wait here with Dr. Kendall, sir. Oh, good. Doctor, do you have those germ specimens? Right here, Commander. Fine. I'm doubling the security guard here at Euphoria. One of your citizens jumped quarantine. What? An employee at the atmosphere washing plant, Lyle Vosper, left the city without permission. Oh, was he infected? Yes. He was told to report to the hospital. Instead, he managed to steal a doctor's credentials and escaped in a surface car. He's believed to be heading for Venus City. He's got to be stopped before he spreads the sickness. I know. I've alerted Venus City Space Patrol, and Happy and I are blasting off for there right away. Get the bacteria specimens, Happy. Wasper, what are you doing here? 
Where's Miss Brayton? She's not here right now. How did you get out of euphoria? I had to. I've got the sickness. And you came directly here to our lab. You fool. Come in so I can shut the door. Scarred. You and Miss Braden have got to cure me. What makes you think we have a cure? We've got to have. You told me nothing would happen to me. You said all I had to do was put some of the bacteria in the final stage of the atmosphere purifying system, then come back here after the epidemic started. Yes, but we underestimated the strength of the bacteria. We didn't expect a quarantine to be slept on the city so quickly. You've got to help me. I'm sick, Skarn. Sick. Go of me. Control yourself. Help me, Skarn. Help me. I'll help you. That'll keep you quiet. What's going on in here, Skarn? Oh, Miss Braden, it's Wasper. He jumped quarantine. I had to hit him to keep him quiet. Did you have to hit him that hard? He's hurt. Oh, well, lock him up till he comes to. Then we'll decide what to do with him. Stop the car here, Happy, and turn off the light. Yes, sir. Now, from here, we can watch this whole row of buildings. Which one is Vosper in, sir? Well, we can't be sure, Happy. Our agent trailed into the neighborhood and then lost him. One thing's sure, he hasn't left the area. He'll have to come out to get something to eat. Yes, yeah, so or someone will bring him food. If we watch carefully, we might be able to get a tip off on where he is. You're right, Scarn. We'll have to dispose of Vosper. If he's alive, he can start an epidemic here before we're ready. Or else the space patrol will find him. Come on, let's get him. Lacra, look. The door's unlocked. Oh, Wasper's gone. Somebody's let him out. Don't be a fool. But Wasper couldn't have broken out by himself. Not in his condition. He did, though. Look at the marks on the inside of the door. Well, he couldn't have gone very far. Go on, Star, and find him. Commander, look. Somebody just came out of that building. Yeah. He seems hurt. Look how he's staggering. He's coming right toward our car. He's in bad shape, Happy. Come on. Help me. Help me. He's falling. Help me. Help me. I've got him, sir. Easy now. Let's have a look at him. Smoking rockets. It's Vosper. 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 Who are you? We're space patrolmen. We want to help you. Tell us what happened. He's not going to tell you anything. I'll see to that. Look out, Commander. Uh, Commander. That goes for you. I'll fix you for meddling. Scarn, who are they? It's the space patrol. But I've taken care of them. We'll return to space patrol in just a moment. How does he do it, space patrollers? He sees flying saucers in the sky. He sees a robot man on the wall. He sees the planet Saturn floating in the clouds. You bet I do. And sometimes, up there in space, I see a rocket ship or speeding jet car. How does he do it, gang? What magic power does this boy possess? No magic power to it. Magic face pictures. That's my secret. Yes, sir, space patrollers. That's the secret. Magic space pictures. And with these wonderful pictures, you can see flying saucers and robot men in the sky, too. You can even see pictures of Tonga in the sky and Major Robertson and Carol. Pictures so big and clear, they practically look real. It's fun, gang, and it's easy. You just stare at the magic space picture, look up into the sky, and zowie, the magic goes to work. There in the sky, you see the magic space picture real big and real clear. There are 24 different magic space pictures, and you get one inside of every new package of checks. So start collecting those wonderful magic space pictures now. Swap them with your pals. Be the first one in your gang to have the whole set of 24. Here's all you do. Just get the new packages of rice checks or wheat checks with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the outside and the amazing magic space picture on the inside. And now back to our space patrol adventure, the indestructible germ. The community of Euphoria on the planet Venus has been famous as the healthiest city in the solar system. But a mysterious epidemic has struck suddenly, and medical authorities are powerless to treat the strange malady. The cause of the epidemic is the super bacteria developed in a laboratory in Venus City and introduced into Euphoria's atmosphere plant by a confederate of Lacra Braden and Mondo Skarn. When the Confederate Lyle Vosper contracted the sickness, he fled from the quarantine city and came to Lacra Braden's lab. There, he was severely beaten by Skarn. He managed to escape and was found by Buzz and Happy. 
But while the space patrolmen were questioning Vosper, Skarn surprised them and knocked them unconscious before they could defend themselves. Uh, they were trying to get Vosper to talk. Did he? I don't think so. Well, then we're safe. All we've got to do is take Vosper back inside the lab building before these space patrolmen come to. Well, you, you aren't going to leave them here. Why not? Let's take their weapons away from them. Oh, and rob them. Rob them? Yes, go on. Take their watches and whatever valuables they have on them. I want to make it look like a plain robbery. Vosper in our hands, they'll never be able to prove differently. Hurry up before someone comes along. Happy. Happy, all right? Oh, not too good, but I'll live. Did you see who hit us? Not very clearly, sir. Hey, he was a big guy, though. There was a woman with him. I heard her voice just before I passed out. How's Vosper? Vosper? Hey, Commander, Vosper's gone. And so are all of our weapons. And my wallet. And watch. It's a cover-up, Happy. Whoever hit us wanted to make sure Vosper didn't identify him. That means Vosper was attacked by someone he knew. Uh-huh. Somebody in that building. Uh, we're in no condition to go in and investigate right now. By this time, they've probably taken Vosper to another part of the city. We'll space phone a couple of agents to watch this neighborhood, then we'll go to headquarters for a little medical attention. We're going to have to take Vosper away from the lab to dispose of him. The space patrolmen may have seen him come out of this building... That means they'll send someone here to search. Well, what about bacteria process equipment? I'll leave it just as it is. Mm. Unlock the door and get Vosper. We'll carry him out the back way. Yeah. He's gone again. The window. Yeah, you know, he pried the bars apart and removed the plexiglass. What are we going to do? We're going to find him, of course. Good morning, Commander. Good morning, Happy. How do you feel? Oh, still a little groggy, sir. The doctor says I'll probably have to wear these bandages for a week. Mm, both of us are looking as though we made a crash landing. Anything new from the lab, Commander? They made a few tests on those bacteria samples, but they merely confirmed what Dr. Kendall found out. It's a new type of bacteria with amazing resistance, discovered, strangely enough, in the least likely place of all, in euphoria. The authorities are constantly making bacteria tests of air, water, food, everything. Yeah. You'd think a new type of bacteria would be discovered quicker than a six-legged elephant at a, at a dog show. <laughs> Commander Corey here. Oh, yes, Sergeant. Who? All right, send him in. You have a visitor, Happy. Lyle Vosper. Vosper? At least that's the name he gave Sergeant Clary at the reception desk. Commander Corey? Yes, come in. You are the Lyle Vosper who jumped quarantine at Euphoria? Yes, Commander. And the same man we found last night on Pollock Street? I I don't recognize you. I, I was pretty dazed. But you seemed to be ill last night, so ill you could hardly talk. Yes, I know. Happy, would you say this was the same man we saw last night? Well, it sure looks like him. He looks a lot healthier. Well, perhaps we should find out who his doctor is. I haven't been to a doctor. I... I guess I just heal quickly. We'll go into that later. Vosper, why did you leave Euphoria? You knew the city was under quarantine. I know, Commander. I was frightened. I knew I was coming down with that sickness. And yet you endangered the lives of others. Yes, I know I was wrong. But jumping quarantine isn't my worst offense. I'm here to give myself up and tell you the whole story. Let's hear it. I was sent to Euphoria to start that epidemic. You started it? Yes. I was hired by a woman named Lachra Braden to plant the bacteria in that city. Well, why would anyone want to do that? Lachra Braden and her assistant, Mondo Skarn, wanted revenge against Dr. Kendall. He got them fired from Terra University a few years ago, and he, he discovered they were embezzling university funds. Then it was Skarn who followed you last night and beat up Cadet Happy and me. That's right. They planned to do away with me, but I got away again. Do you know where they got this new type of bacteria? By artificial selection. They have an automatic breeder. When they get several million bacteria in a sealed vat, they add a weak solution of poison. Then they let the survivors multiply and add a stronger poison solution. Exactly. They did this again and again with thousands of generations of bacteria. Each time they got a stronger variety. Germs that could stand heat and cold. Well, smoke and rockets, how long did it take? About a year. You see, these bacteria divide every 20 minutes. They had 25,000 generations in one year. I heard Lockra Braden say once that that was equivalent to nearly a million years in the life of the human race. All that effort creating an epidemic just to get revenge against one man. I didn't know it would be this bad, Commander. Honestly, I didn't. That doesn't excuse you, Vosper. However, your coming here may help to keep this sickness from spreading. 
Dr. Kendall is here in Venus City. I'm going to send you to him for an examination, and you'll be returned to Euphoria under Space Patrol custody. Yes, sir. Happy turned Vosper over to a guard, and we'll go pick up Lockwood Braden and... Door's locked, sir. Locker and Scar must have decided to get out of the city after Vosper got away. Let's have a look. Use your electronic key, Happy. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go in. Mm, here's the lab, sir. Take it easy, Happy. There may be someone in there. I'll go first. Nobody here, but the equipment's working. Wow, look at all those vats and tubes and stuff. It's probably the bacteria incubator system. Then they're still growing those germs. Yes, there are probably billions and billions of them in those vats, ready to be turned loose in other cities. We ought to smash them all to bits right now. Start an epidemic right here in Venus City? Oh, that's right. This is a job for a bacteriologist, Happy. Don't touch a thing. That's very good advice, Commander. I suppose you're a lock for Braden. That's right. And may I ask why you're intruding here in my private property? We've talked to Lyle Vosper. He told us how that epidemic started in Euphoria. Lyle Vosper? Who's he? The man you hired to put these bacteria in the atmosphere plant. The man your assistant, Mondo Skarn, followed last night. Oh, really, Commander? I don't know who this uh, Vosper is, but he's an outrageous liar. Actually, I'm trying to develop a cure for that disease. Very interesting. And where do you get the bacteria to experiment on? Why? Uh... You had better come along with me to headquarters, Lacker. Where's Skarn? Scarn? I, I don't know. What's the matter? There's a man looking through the glass there in the next room. He's motioning to Lacra. Oh, that's Mr. Scar now. He's in the control room. I'll get him. Now, just a minute, Lacra. Stay here. I'll get him. A stopper, Happy. Yes, sir. Hey, hey, don't shut that door. <laughs> Miss Brady, open this door. Commander, your authority doesn't carry much weight around here. And your meddling into our affairs is very unfortunate for the people of Venus City. Commander, what does he mean? Watch what happens when I throw this switch. <laughs> Scarn, what are you doing? I'm building up gas pressure in the process control system. In a few moments, the vents will start to burst, and the bacteria will be free. Listen to reason. Then a few moments later, the entire lab will blow up. Germs will be scattered into the air of the city. But you won't have to worry, Corey. The explosion will take care of you. What are we going to do, sir? They left the control room. Quick, use your electronic key in the door. Hey, that's right. I forgot about that. Now work fast, Happy. Pressure's building up in those vats. There it is. Let's go. Oh, just in time. One of the vats blew up. Get Locker and Scarn. They can't have gone very far. Come on, Locker. Let's get out of here before the whole lab explodes. The explosion won't hurt us in this part of the building, and I've got to get the records of my experiments. We can't leave them here. What does it matter now? Corey! Grab Locker, Happy. Yes, sir. Drop that ray gun, Scarn. Hold still, Locker, and you won't get hurt. But he won't be on his feet long enough to get it. <coughs> nice going, Commander. All right, Locker. We're going back to the control room so you can stop that explosion. Can't be stopped now. It's too late. All right, then. Let's get out of here. Happy, take it to our surface car. I'll bring Scarn. Yes, sir. Wow. Lucky we were out of there. Yes, but those germs will be spreading all over the city. Commander, the lab must be on fire. Listen. Well, that's good. If it can be kept under control, it'll destroy most of the bacteria... Come on, let's get these two over to headquarters. I've just checked with the Atmosphere Control Center, Happy. They made careful sample checks all over Venus City. No harmful bacteria. Good. Then the explosion and fire killed them all. Apparently. They're going to continue the check. What about Lacra and Scarn? Well, first I intend to send them to Euphoria to help find a cure for the disease they spread there. Yeah, they know more about the bacteria than anybody else. But Dr. Kendall doesn't think that'll be necessary. So, Lachlan and Scarn will be sent directly to a criminal rehabilitation center. Commander, you mean Dr. Kendall has found a cure for the epidemic? Not exactly, but he's discovered the disease is its own cure. Huh? Well, that doesn't make sense to me. The epidemic is over in euphoria. Those who were sick are in better health than ever. You remember how rapidly Vosper recovered? Yes, sir. It was because he had those so-called indestructible germs in his system. They speeded up the healing process. That's happening to several other cases in Euphoria. New arrivals who have been suffering from other illnesses are completely cured. You mean one disease cures another? Well, that's what it amounts to. This is what happens. Locker and Scarn developed a type of bacteria that has one outstanding quality. 
That's the ability to adapt to changing conditions and survive. When people in euphoria got sick, the chemical change was sent by the bacteria. Some instinct made them realize they couldn't survive very long in a sick body, so they fought each other until a healthful balance was reached. Well, then these germs aren't harmful after all. Mm, at first, yes. That's why the epidemic lasted for weeks. But in that time, several hundred generations of bacteria learned the secret of self-preservation. That's a good joke on lacquer and scarn. Instead of creating a terrible epidemic, they made euphoria healthier than ever. It's amazing, Happy, how nature seems to work for the best, no matter how hard some human beings try to make things work. Yes, sir. You know, I guess I've had the wrong idea about bacteria. Hmm? Even a bad germ has some good in him, if you give him a chance. An exciting preview of next week's Space Patrol adventure follows in just a moment. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24. Yes, sir, Space Patrollers, there are 24 different Magic Space Pictures. And Buzz Corey wants you to have all of them. There's three of Buzz Corey, and they're all different. There's two of Cadet Happy. And two of Tonga. There's a Magic Space Picture of Buzz Corey's insignia. And the Space Patrol badge. There's a Space Liner pilot. A picture of Major Robertson. A jet car. A flying saucer. A rocket ship. The planet Saturn. A space pirate. The deadly iron fist. And all kinds of other Magic Space Pictures. They work real easy, gang. First, you stare at the mysterious picture. What is it? Who is it? You can't tell. Then you look up at the sky or at a wall. And hocus pocus, the magic goes to work. You see a giant space picture floating in the sky. And it's so big and clear, it almost looks like the real object or person. Fun? Man, oh man. Gang, start now. Collect all 24 of the magic space pictures. There's only one place to get them, and that's inside of every new package of checks. So look for the new packages of rice checks and wheat checks with Buzz Corey or Cadet Happy on the outside and the swell magic space picture on the inside. And now, a preview of next week's exciting space patrol adventure. Buzz and Happy are in their spacesuits examining the wreckage of a long-lost spaceship that crashed under strange circumstances. From the looks of the wreckage, that ship didn't hit head-on. It came in at an angle right over those low pinnacles of the rock. How old would you say it was, sir? Judging by the fragments and what's left of the instruments, I'd say it was at least a hundred years old. A hundred years old? Oh, Rockets, what a story this old ship could tell. Hey, Commander, somebody or something shooting at us. It's a spaceship coming in low. This time they won't miss. Come on, get out of here before they fire again. Join us again next week for the exciting story, The Treasure of Planetoid 60, when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hot Wilson again present... Space Patrol! Special bulletin for boys and girls in Louisville, Kentucky, and Boston, Massachusetts. Buzz Corey's own space battle cruiser, the Ralston Rocket, will be in your area next week. Don't miss it. The Ralston Rocket! Space Patrol, created by Mike Moser, starring Ed Kemmer as Commander Corey, and Lynn Osborne as Cadet Happy, was written by Lou Houston. Produced and directed by Larry Robertson. Executive producer, Mike Devery. Other players were Stephen Robertson, Bela Kovach, Virginia Hewitt, and Ken Mayer. Dick Tufel speaking. Now, don't forget to tune in next Saturday and every Saturday when Wheat Checks, Rice Checks, and Good Hut Ralston again present the new exciting Space Patrol! <laughs> Be sure to see another exciting Space Patrol program on your local ABC television station. Consult your local paper for time and channel. This program is broadcast to our armed forces overseas through the worldwide facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Space Patrol came to you transcribed from Hollywood. This is ABC Radio Network. <laughs>